I hope everyone's having a great new year. Um, just got ready for the day. I do have work today. This new year's kind of feels different. I feel like typically I don't have like a lot of energy at the new year. I'm not like, you know, setting lots of resolutions, doing this, doing that. This year I feel so much energy and momentum and I'm not gonna lie, it's a little, it's a little scary. What's not scary is these flowers. One of my new year's resolutions this year was to get more fresh flowers. So that's what I did. This morning we went on a nice walk, got a little pastry, got some tea, getting settled back in. After being gone in LA or LA area. I don't know, the new year is feeling good. Gosh, how do you get this off? I mean, they really tied this on there. Anyway, I think this momentum that I'm feeling, it, it sort of feels like riding, being put on like a very powerful horse. And <laughs> yeah, being put on a very powerful horse and it's kind of crazy, it's kind of wild. The horse doesn't want to listen and it's just going full speed. <laughs> And I kind of want to bail off the horse. I just want to be like, oh, I can't do it. Let's just, you know, get up and try again. But I don't know. I have all of these different goals and like ideas that are coming to me in a way that I haven't in a while. And so that feels exciting in one breath and then scary in another because they feel like ideas that I, I have the energy and the know-how to execute. I guess what I'm saying is, what am I saying? I guess what I'm saying is, what am I saying? I'm excited. I guess I'm saying I'm excited and I'm optimistic and I feel excited to see all that I'll do this year because I feel like something is on the brink. Something is something is brewing, something's stirring. How's everybody else feeling? I hope even if you're not feeling a lot of momentum and excitement about the new year that there's still maybe some peace and calm that's ushering you into this new year that you're setting intentions that feel good for you and true to you i should get to work actually before i go to work i want to show my outfit today because this was a gift from some friends for my birthday and i love it and i think that being gifted clothes is so sweet <laughs> especially when people know your style love that wearing these pants that i actually wear I actually wear these pants like twice a week. If we're gonna be friends, just just know that. Yeah, they're from Mango. They fit so well. I got them like two sizes bigger and then I got them tailored around the waist. That's just kind of how I like my pants to fit. And yeah. I was watching back these clips and realized how puffy my ponytail was and of course it was Ian's fault. I was like, why did you tell me? In case you're wondering what we argue about, I'd say like that's 60% of our argument is me being like, why didn't you tell me my hair is messed up? Or why didn't you tell me, I don't know, something with my makeup? Obviously there's nothing Ian could have done. There's nothing you could have done to save this. There's nothing any of us could have done to save this silk press. I really need to wash my hair. <laughs> I need to wash my hair. I have no idea how the girlies out there are getting a silk press every week and then working out and then it like stays. No, I was not blessed 
that way. I've thought about shaving my hair off. Like actually, I've like, you know, done this in the mirror. I still might, I don't know. I feel like hair is like a, it's just such a thing. It's such a thing. I feel like I limit, or I once limited so many activities because I didn't want, because I was worried about my hair. I didn't want it to like do my hair one day and then like have to worry about sweating or getting wet or whatever, whatever. And I'm just kind of tired of that. So I thought about cutting my hair. I did a little bit of uh, research on the web and found out that having like a short shortcut is just as much, is just as time consuming. So I don't know. I will say I definitely feel I feel way more confident when my hair is done. I think most people probably feel that way, or maybe for some people it's like when their makeup's done, when their nails are done or whatever, but for me, it's my hair into this year. <laughs> I think that's one of my intentions, is to figure out a hairstyle that works for me, that's good for my, you know, my hair, doesn't like put too much stress or cause too much damage but also doesn't require me to limit myself in any way. So yeah, I think we're about to go on a little adventure. I don't know, it's Friday, the sun is out. The sun will be setting soon though. So yeah, I don't know. And then we'll probably come back, make dinner and who knows? I love Fridays. What do you have to say for yourself? For what? Why didn't you, why didn't you tell me about my hair? Because it looks beautiful. So you didn't see it? You saw it though. There's nothing to see. You saw, you saw, you saw what was <laughs> wrong. <to> <laughs> I was talking about my eyes watering and it messing up my makeup. Look at that. Criminal. Absolutely criminal. We just finished at church and now we are on our way to SF MoMA to see the Yayoi Kusama exhibit. It was a Christmas gift from Ian's parents. Um, thank you so much. Shout I'm sure you're watching, so thank you. <laughs> um, I'm, we're both really excited. We've been talking about yeah. it all week. Um, so figured we would take you all along. We never really spend that much time downtown or like close to downtown. I said it to a friend last night at dinner and she was like, you don't go downtown. <laughs> and I didn't realize, I didn't really realize that I like actively avoid it, but I think that should change. I think we should spend more time downtown and maybe we'll bop around a little bit after the museum.
are back from the museum and from our day out. Such a good day. I honestly could not have asked for a better Sunday. The ticket came with a dining experience and so we had lunch right after. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Um, we had lunch at the restaurant that's in the museum right after and that was really good. Um, what did you get? I had, what did I get? It was like a salmon tartare. What did you get? Salmon tartare for an appetizer. And then we both got chicken pot pie. Flinched a little bit. <laughs> you saw that. The exhibit was called Infinite Love, which is so fun because today at church, the sermon was on love. And not love in like the trite sense. It was like dissecting and differentiating how our loves differ from God's love, but our loves point in the direction of God's love. It was serendipitous. <laughs> I love it when things connect. So there's a lot of love in this household. I'm not adding that. It's okay. <laughs> Not for the camel, it's from me. Oh, I'm so shy. <laughs> you should see what she does off camera. <laughs> I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna add that in. Anyway, I'm about to make a cup of tea and just get a little bit of work done and get ready for the week. What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some fruit. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys next time.